Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a get to know me tag. Um, I just looked up like YouTube get to know me tag and it's on like YouTube society.com or something. I don't really know but I just did the boyfriend tag with Jake where we um, I asked him a bunch of questions and he had to give me the answers. But I wanted to answer these questions about myself so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So I briefly looked at these just to see how many there were. I didn't read them all, but there are 30 questions. So if you guys want to get to know me a little better, then stay tuned. So question number one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Buffalo, New York, born and raised. I have moved away twice, but I grew up in Buffalo. Where do you currently live? I live in Buffalo. I just moved back from Florida. I was living in Orlando, Florida for a little while, and then before that I was living in New York City. Who is your first best friend? My first best friend is would probably be my middle school, high school friend, Anna. Um, we were inseparable throughout high school, and then we went to the same college, but yeah, probably Anna. Question number four, how tall are you? Um, I am either 5'10 or 5'11, I don't really know. I think I'm 5'10. Dogs or cats? Question number five. Definitely dogs because I'm allergic to cats, so I've never really been around cats too much. I try to like pet them and play with them, but then my allergies act up and I can't breathe, so. Sixth, funniest moment throughout high school. I don't know, I feel like my whole high school experience was just funny. I mean, I just had fun all the time with joking around and being stupid with my friends. Number seven, what year were you born? I was born in 1996. I am 23 years old. I'm gonna be 24 this year, which is not something I'm happy about. Are you in slash have you gone to college? Question number eight. Um, no, I am not in college. I did go to college though. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in 2018. I have a degree in public relations with a minor in leadership studies. And no, I am not using that degree. I have not worked in the field yet. <laughs> Number nine, what is your favorite drink? I'm gonna do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Um, non-alcoholic, just water. I don't, I don't know, that's usually all I'm drinking ever. Like if I go out to eat, it's just gonna be a water unless Sometimes I'll get a ginger ale, but probably water. And then alcoholic, a blue moon. It's my favorite. Number 10, what is your spirit animal and why? I don't know why, but I think it's a toucan. Like I just relate to them. They're just weird. I feel like they are just like honking like a goose and like that's usually what I'm doing. Um, probably a toucan or I don't know, yeah, too can. 11, you're wearing perfume, what scent is it? Well, I'll just do cologne, but probably the green curve. I don't know if it, what it's called, but I really like that smell. 12, tea or coffee? Definitely coffee, I've never been a huge tea person, um, ever, really. Number one, three. What are your life goals? So I, my life goals are two major ones. One is to become a YouTuber where I'm able to put my time, all of my time and like money into doing this and creating content, whether it is YouTube or whether it's um, creating content on some other platform that is definitely um, my dream job to be, you know, creative in that sense and be able to have fun like that. And my other life goal is to move to California, preferably Los Angeles. I've always been obsessed with the idea of living out in California. Ever since I was little, I don't know why. There are literally so many places in the world, but growing up, my dream vacation was, was always going out to Los Angeles and, you know, 
seeing everything out there and like doing that. And I got to do that for my 22nd birthday slash graduation, my college graduation. I went out there with three friends and it was amazing. Like I was in awe the entire time. I would move there tomorrow if I could, if I financially could, you know, afford all that and go out there. And if I had a job, that is definitely my, my dream place to live. 14. What sports do you play or have you played? So when I was little, I played hockey, I played basketball, and I ran track and field. But hockey and basketball when I was like little, little. Hockey I played up until I was like nine or ten. Like so it wasn't anything like exciting. It was just like me falling and looking like a deer on ice and then I played basketball in like the fourth or fifth grade. Number 15, have any books you read changed your life? Well, I don't read. <laughs> I wish I did. I don't have the attention span to. I have the attention span of a flea. So anytime I've ever like sat down with a book and tried to read, I'm like reading, but I'm thinking about something else. So I'm not paying attention to what I'm reading. So unfortunately, no. Number 16, what is your favorite movie? Oh God, I have a few. Hocus Pocus is definitely probably number one. Bridesmaids, I'm, after number one, they're not in order. It's just like whatever comes to my mind type thing. Cause like I said, there's a few. Hocus Pocus is definitely favorite movie all time number one. And then I would probably say Bridesmaids, Thelma and Louise, I love that movie, and The Simpsons movie is so funny. No matter how many times I watch it, I laugh like it's the first time I've ever seen it. And I've never been a huge Simpsons person. I've never even watched The Simpsons, but that movie is so goddamn funny. So if you haven't seen any of those, highly, highly, highly recommend. I could watch Hocus Pocus all year round. Me, Jake, and our college roommate, Bree, we would watch it every single night. I love that movie. Number 17, who are your favorite YouTubers? Myself, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Tana Mojo, Nicole Guerrero, and Nicole is like, um, a, I think she's like a beauty YouTuber. I don't really know. I like watching her vlogs. I just like listening to her talk. I think her life is so interesting and like watching her just like go about her everyday life. So I love watching her vlogs. I love watching Tana Mojo's just videos. I think she's super, super funny and how she edits them is like so creative and it's so cool. And then the first YouTuber I ever really got into was Trisha Paytas. I used to like not be a huge fan of her, but she just like always caught my attention and always made me laugh. So probably those three. Number 18, do you speak any languages and how well? I should be able to speak French considering I took six years of it, but I cannot. Um, so no. I, I can't. <laughs> Number 19, are you single or taken? I am happily taken. Sorry everybody, I know that just broke your heart. Number 20, what is your idea of a dream date? Mine would probably be going to the beach and just having like snacks and you know, beer or like wine or like, you know, adult beverages, like some beer or some wine. Even though I'm not a huge wine drinker, but on occasions I will and just like watching the sunset and like hanging out, that would probably be it. 21, how long was your longest relationship? So Jake and I have almost been together for five years. So that is my longest relationship. 22, how would you describe your fashion sense? Um, I really just wear black all the time. I actually, before I started filming this video, I was searching in my closet for something that wasn't black because I was looking at my thumbnails and like different <laughs> videos that I've taken and I just wear black all the time, which I know that's how it is in real life, but I don't want everybody to think that I'm wearing the same shirt. But black, black jeans, black bands, sometimes red bands, and a hoodie or a flannel if it's cold. 23, what is your go-to hairstyle? Not much to it. 
25, what is your go-to fast food order? I'm not a huge fast food person. I would just much rather make food, but if I was going out to a fast food place, it would be Chick-fil-A. I know there's so much controversy around them and like how they're just like not nice, but I would definitely get their spicy chicken sandwich. It's so good. 26. Do you use PC or a Mac? I've always used a Mac. Um, never been a PC person. 27. Your most memorable vacation memory. Um, after, I don't remember what year it was, so it doesn't even matter, but me and my cousin Chelsea went on vacation to New York City with her mom and her stepdad, so my aunt and uncle. I flew to Kentucky and then we drove to New York City, which I live in New York, but it, whatever. But we slept the entire car ride there. We got to New York and immediately we went to Times Square. It was piss pouring raining and Ariana Grande was at like the MTV like studio. I don't know what it is, like right by Times Square where you can like see the like people down below. We were the only two in the crowd out there that didn't have an umbrella or a raincoat on because I was standing in short sleeves. I think I have the video on my, my phone because I found it on Instagram. And she was like, go home, it's cold. Like she was doing that to us. And I was like, oh my God. And then I think the next of the night we played beer pong with like the hotel cups, like glassware, like on an ironing board because we didn't have solo cups or plastic cups and we didn't have a table. So we put, and we didn't have beer, we just had a thing of fireball, I don't know why. But we put on each end of the ironing board, glass cups, and I think we were throwing the top of a toothpaste cap to play, <laughs> to play fireball pong. 28, what are your morning and evening routines? So in the morning, I like to go and get a coffee and then I make breakfast, whatever it's gonna be, I don't know, probably oatmeal, because I'm like a basic bitch, and I eat the same thing every day. So I do that, and I'll sit and like play on my laptop, I usually just like sit on YouTube, because I don't really, I'm not a huge Netflix or TV person, so I just watch like short clips on YouTube, because again, I have the attention span of a flea, and a 40 minute segment does not keep my attention. But I will sit there, have my breakfast, have my coffee, and then I'll shower, start my day, so I, my like, morning routine isn't that exciting. I get in the shower, wash my hair, face, my body, then I get out, put my contacts in, brush my teeth, put my face moisturizer on, my acne cream, my deodorant, and then I do my hair, and then I'm out the door. Which usually I'm not out the door, because I spend an extra 20 minutes staring at myself or singing Mariah Carey in the mirror. Evening, I really just relax in bed. Same thing, sit on my computer, just play on my computer. I'll lay there for a bit and then when I feel myself starting to get tired, I like to just go take my contacts out, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, and then I will go lay in bed and play on my laptop until it's time to go to bed or until I'm like too tired to like sit up and do it anymore and then I'll scroll through my phone until I know it's time to go to bed. 29, do you have any bad habits? Yes, I do. Um, just being myself. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm very bad at making plans and I'm so bad at texting. Like if you text me, I'll open it and I don't wanna, cause I'm like, oh my God, what happened? Is there something wrong? So I open it immediately, but I don't wanna be that person that's like, I got a text message three seconds ago, let me start typing, cause then they're gonna think I'm weird. So I'm bad at texting and I'm bad at making plans. And I clench my teeth all the time and I grind my teeth. Last question, number 30. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I can pop my hip out of place. I don't know if that's like a count or the fact that I have 25 tattoos or that I am a very sensitive person. Like if you look at me wrong, I'm gonna think about it all day. And or if you say something wrong, like, or that I think is off, I'm gonna think about it 24 seven. So either that I can pop my hip out of place, that I have 25 tattoos, or that I'm 
sensitive as fuck. Not by choice, people. Not by choice. So let's just be kind, okay? Alright, well I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better than you did before. And if you guys want to see more videos, me sitting down, just talking, hanging out, let me know if there's any more tag videos that you guys want me to do. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.